Trap. Welcome back. Oh no, we're back after a vacation hiatus. We made it. We made it. They made it. We made it. Congratulations, listeners, and viewers, the, viewers, listeners, subscribers, compadres, or dare I even say, patriots, reelers, reelers, real ones. Yeah, they want to see the the reels and like some. You know, you're yeah. an official reeler. Every podcast is always about their day oneers, but we even care about the day twoers, day threeers, day fours, day, fours, day fivers, day walk ons. We'll take yeah, them. If you if you fucking walked onto the bench, welcome to the game. I literally don't care if we're your ninth favorite podcast and you just listen to it like once a week, and it's the last one you listen to before all of them reset. As long as we make the list every week, I want to be the podcast that when you're when you talk to your parents, you have to call your mom once a week, and you call her, and she says, "What's going on with you?" You say. Oh, I've been doing this, and then you just send her a link to our podcast. Yep, and and he and you go, give it a listen. Yeah, and then we get a notification that says you got a listener. You got a listener, Mama Jones. Mama Mama Jones. Dana Mama Jones. Jones is on board with the pod. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, a few weeks off. Sorry about that, guys. Just just uh, just, just just one. We've been busy. Just one week. Really? Yeah, we only took one week off. Actually, it's been. It's been. One week, One week since, since we, we did a pod. Oh. It's been. It's been. One week since we did a pod. You know, I didn't think it. I think I got It'll a pretty be... good. It's been. It's been. It's been. It's been. It's been. It's been fun. The podcast <laughs> just jumped the shark. <laughs> We're dead, dude. So, yeah. So we didn't do a podcast though last week. Yeah. And but that's the week you were gone. And then last week I was gone. Well, so, so the, we the should week, do it in order. We should talk about your week. The week I was gone, we actually ha- we didn't do it, but we had one in the can. Yeah. So they they've only any listener, viewer, subscriber, loyalist has only been without for a week. And I get it. You have withdrawal symptoms. I get that your hands are shaking. I get that you're sweaty. I get that you need to hear us in your ears. And and I want to put us in your ears. I want to put our warm hot pod sauce in your ears. That's cool. My nephew listens to this. Hey, uh, what do you think he thinks pod sauce is? Fucking a, audio waves, dude. A couple of dudes. <laughs> it's audio about, waves. Talking about pod sauce. It's an MP3 file is what it is. I actually brightened my day. What, pod sauce? Yeah, pod sauce. <laughs> dude, that's what we should have called the podcast. Pod, pod sauce. sauce. Podcast. Joe, Joe and Joe's pod sauce. Is that taken? Dude. We're not changing the name. But we could start another one. Oh, my God. A franchise, if you will? Yeah. Pod two, sauce. Two pod, two podcast? Yeah. Pod sauce. All right, so, but the week before, we said, hey, everybody, go to Hilarity's to see yeah. Joe Briggs. And some of you How did. did go? Some of you went, and I appreciate that. Actually, a lot of people went. It was good. Good. We it won? Was, we, won the, we won the big game. We won. Um, good. So, how'd it go? You had one or two shows? Two shows. Two shows. Uh, early show was pretty much anyone I've ever met in my entire life. That's awesome. I mean, I think there was four tables. Of, I mean, you're in, you can only see the front, so you don't really know who's all there. But for, in my field division, there was only one table, two tables of people that I didn't recognize, which is pretty nuts. When you head to the stage, do you beeline it and not look at to yeah. your left or right? Because yeah. I was going to say, because that's a room where if you look to your left and right, you'll see. You'll see. But if you don't, you won't see. You literally, it's just a short enough walk. Yep. Okay. And uh, my favorite, so uh, the manager, Sam, he was like, I, he was joking, but he was like, any special requests? And I was like, I do. I have one special request. Yeah. And he's like, dude, seriously? And I was like, do not sit my dad in the front of the room. Okay. Put my dad as far back as you can put him. I can't. He doesn't. He likes comedy, and he's supportive, and he comes to shows. But he will sit in the crowd okay. and not even smile. Okay. <laughs> and then when you ask him about it, he goes, that's how I enjoy things. Yeah. So he'll just sit there miserable, it looks like. Mm-hmm. And you saw him at the Mark show. You know what I'm talking about. I've seen it. So they put him, like, you know how there's kind of that makeshift green room back there? Yeah. They put him at the table right next to it, that big one. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I was on stage, like, Flint was talking, and he said, he's like, yeah, it was more fun watching your dad than it was watching you. Because he's like, it was a table of him, my mom, and their friends. Okay. And Flint was just like, after every joke, he would just, like, throw his hands up or, like, 
tag your joke to the table. And I was like, he was tagging my bits? He's like, Flint was what? like, he was tagging your bits. Yeah. Tagging them. Tagging them. Damn, dude. But it was nice. I got to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in a while. Okay. A lot of friends, family? Friends, family. Like, people I used to be bands with. Like, yeah. Com- comics? Comics, yeah. Comics show up? Did they buy tickets or did they? They just showed up to the late show, but that's what I expected. That makes sense. That checks yeah. out. Yeah. They're doing stuff. Okay. Uh, so it went well? Yeah, I think And you so. had... Uh, the early who, show, I'll never have a crowd that friendly again. But who cares? Who who was on the show? Not like not who cares that you'll never get it again. It's awesome that you got it. So you're no, no. I I, 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 I didn't take tape. it as an insult. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's yeah, on it's tape. All on yeah. tape. Yeah. yeah. So who was the lineup for the opening show? So they, they, the way they've been doing that side room is they keep doing like uh, Canadian style where it's long host and then a guest spot or two. Okay. So Strank was the long host, and uh, he did great on both shows. Mike Strank, Mike Strank, Michael Strank, friend of the look pod. him up, follow him, friend of pod. Yeah. Other half. Yeah, I like that you said his last name. You're like, just dismiss. Yeah, he's your, so he's your host opener. That's yeah. awesome. How other, long the do? other half of our improv group, Mr. Boy. Mr. Boy. Um, How long did he do? I think he did like 15 on each. 15 to 17. 15 to 18, 18. Something 18. like that. That's fantastic. Um, Damn. I don't did think he, he did 20, but it was like 15 to 18, I think. Did he do the Farouk joke? I'm a late show. Good. No, uh, I think he closed with it on the early show, too. I like that Yeah, that joke. joke's so good. Uh, okay, so... His new bowling joke is so good, too. Mm-hmm. Have you heard that? Yeah, I heard, like, uh, uh, like an iteration of it, I think. Well, he's he been, was doing it. He exp- So he's been doing one that's... I'm not giving anything away. It's his, He's gotten into bowling because he's divorced. Yeah, but it's like it's such a quick, easy one where he's like, mm-hmm. I'm in two bowling leagues, which is easier than telling you I'm getting divorced, which is just such a solid joke. So good. But now he has like a new joke about how his favorite pro athletes are bowlers, because he's like, I see LeBron James driving around in a Maybach. He's like, that's not attainable. But you know who sponsors the PBA? Denny's. <laughs> he's like, I can go to a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant, and he's got like some weird line where he's like, the restaurant whose slogan is, "Have you seen a veteran lately?" Here's a grand slam. <laughs> Him. He's one of those guys who does like a bunch of like activities yeah but like he doesn't like look super like athletic but like you have to like consider like he also looks a lot younger than he is he's 37 so, like, he looks like he's 25 all paying off yeah, yeah like it is like Do- all paying off doesn't drink doesn't yep. smoke weed or cigarettes it's perfect nothing yep all paying off um but he the late show he like fucking killed good he had like one of the be- even sam was like ooh. He had, like, one of the best sets. I think that might have been the best set I've ever seen him have on the late show. That's awesome. Um, and then, so the early show that there was two s- split features or mm-hmm. split middles, guest spots. The early show was Cam Godfrey and John Brown. Late show was Cam Godfrey and Dave Flint. Did you pick those, or did they pick them? Um, Sam? I picked Cam. Or, I, or is I mean, that weird to ask? Well, I, I, I didn't. So the thing is, I didn't want, like to put any pressure on hilarities mm-hmm. so like i told cam to like email i was like this would be a good first time to try and go up there i'd yeah. email if i were you and she did but i didn't like ultimately sam the manager had all to say cool um yeah but fuck it was yeah. it was fun fuck it was yeah good seeing, it was good seeing people good and then you were there for like a week I was there for a week there was like people i had like friends from college that drove up from columbus and toledo and shit to come Damn. to it yeah so, so you got some hanging out got some hanging out you got on other shows that weekend? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I did that. I featured for Andy Woodhall the oh, rest of the week. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, How's he? I oh, dude, he's very funny. Just, such, like, genuinely a nice guy. Nice guy. That's Great awesome. hang. Great God, hang. you love to hear that. You always worry. Dude. You always worry when, you know, I, and I, I, when, I, I, when I ask, I don't want to hear terrible person. Yeah. And I hate, like, repeating what someone else has said because I don't want it to sound bad. Yeah. But his, like, big thing is, like, he just moved to L.A. Mm-hmm. He's, like, an indie guy. Okay. Midwest guy. And he's, like, I miss, like, hanging after Mike's. He's, like, everyone just shows up and kind of leaves in L.A. And that's kind of what happens at shows here, too. It is. It's wild. And it's, it's wild. Like... But he yeah. was, like, pumped to just hang. It's good. And shit. Yeah, it was great. Hanging yeah. is good. Especially, like, I feel like you got, like, it. I don't know. The networking is, like, oh, you're on stage and you get off yeah. and it's, like, quick. Or it's, like, someone will leave. Like, I did, like, my whole first roast here, and then, like, I did it, and then, like, by the time I was done, 
like the two like main contestant people like i think like came down the stairs and like were like and i was like so it's like they didn't even i didn't even see it see it yeah, yeah so wow. i was like damn dude that's that's right you know <clears throat> where was it's it like, at? it's whatever uh one on one 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 and one one, one, yeah, and one. yeah yeah that bar is weird it was really cool the basement i like that i like that for like a roast place it's it's like very fitting if they could just i think it's like the, it was like really like terrible weather so there was it's a, lot a good of room if they fill it out yeah it was really cool yeah. like later on is like it progressed to like the later rounds and there's like people Were you first round yeah oh. of course i just moved here yeah i won on jokes dude barely i i tried to look up the video i don't know where it is i'll try and find it yeah i uh yeah so i did that roast that was that was pretty cool um yeah, Raj came, supported, supported the troops. He just so loves good. seeing you beat people at roast. He does, dude. <laughs> Whether it's him or someone else. Dude, I got, I was so, I was like the most nervous I think I've ever been for any roast ever. Because I yeah. really didn't like, I didn't like use any jokes that were like specific to him at all. Yeah. I just did jokes that like I really enjoy saying. And like one of them just bombed completely. And I was Which like. Which one? Uh, I'll have to look. It was the oh, second okay. joke that I told, which I had a feeling. So I put it second. And I was like, okay. We'll just brush that off. And then I literally just apologized to the crowd. And then someone was like, ah, that, that made up for the joke. Yeah. So, but it was pretty rough. Like, I don't know. He had like good jokes, but they were all just like about our podcast, which was sweet. Oh, really? So I was like, yeah, dude, he like at least like watched a couple of reels. We Did probably he... got a few views out of this. Did Briggs get roasted on this thing? I feel like every time they you did, do a... He did mention that uh, like we're gay. Of course. Uh, I was going to say, every time you do a roast... Somehow I get roasted or he, get called a bottom or... I think he did want you there because he was trying to make a joke about um, oh. us using Velveeta cheese as lube. And I was like, that would be good. Yeah. I was like, that would be fun. Like, would be I, would, I was like, that's, that's, that would that would have like brought us both joy listening to that. Yeah. I was like, I'm actually... I would have liked that. I probably like would have liked that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. I like all of what you're saying. and But he's like, oh, I was going to point to Joe at that. And I was like, that's really good. But... Yeah. Yeah, uh, but the judges uh, were in my favor. Crowd hated me. Was it just because uh, you were another someone they didn't know, or? Uh, I think I got a. I think I got a face that says it's okay to not like me. Like when yeah, I was oh, yeah. like stand there, I have to like try to be like ah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think it was like a lot of fun. Uh, it was a good roast, but judges had it for me. And yeah, all around, I want to do it again. But yeah. this time, like, I'm going to look into the person and make it, like, personal. How does it work here? Do you, like, move up now? No, or? I don't think so. I think oh. you have to, like, do it a few times and see how it goes. But I'm definitely going to try and keep doing it. Because okay. I, I like roasting. I think it's a lot of fun. I like watching roast. And yeah. I like watching you roast. Yeah. I like helping you if you yeah. need help. I don't like doing roast. Yeah. It's 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 sometimes when you just, like, do it too harsh. <clears throat> yeah. And you just look over and you're like, oh, what have I done? What have I done to this person? Like what? I uh, I can't. It can make you feel bad when you go to sleep. I so we were hanging out this week too, mm-hmm. and uh, like the Cleveland boys, we went and saw jazz. You were in Florida. Yeah, I know. I and, had a great time. We'll talk about. It. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about roast though, and I was like, yeah, I don't like being mean, ever. Like really ever. And then like Paul and Roger were like, what, didn't you and Joe have like one argument so far? And I was like, yeah, it's because I get. The only time I get mean is when I play like something competitive, like Madden. Yeah, and I was being so mean, and I was like, I've—I don't know if you've noticed this. I, I've avoided playing Madden with you. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm afraid of myself. <laughs> I'm afraid of myself. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't asked because like I've been playing so much of it, yeah. and I'm like, what if it just turns into a massacre? No. Like, what if I just go nuts? And it will be just, a massacre. I know, but then like you'll be down so much where it won't matter anymore, and I'll just. Then it then it'll start. Then then starts the I'm the greatest Madden player of all time, and I'm up like sixteen. I'll be like, then that's how I lose is because it just gets to me. I'm like, I was, I was about to say, I don't know if you know this. The more I'm down by, the more I'm gonna talk shit. <laughs> the stadium gets loud. Dude. Yeah, stadium gets real. All those hey, say what you will about me. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that only talk shit when he's up. No, you are. You're not. You're not. I only talk shit when I'm down by a lot. <laughs> That's true, and that's when it. As soon as I get up, is when I kind of get quiet. That's when it matters most. That, yeah, you're yeah. usually trying. You want to hang on to the lead, yeah. so you're like, "All right, well, if you talk too much, then like someone's gonna like turn around, intercept it, and then it's well. If you're up, there, it's there's no. Why are you talking shit if you're up? You're up. You know what I mean, dude? Did I tell you? If you're down, that's when you really. Want to 
this guy the other day when I was playing. I don't know if we talked about this, no. but I was playing online and I never like talk. We know that's like my thing, but this guy gets on and he just, I guessed pass and he ran the ball and he got like a, you know, upwards of 60 yard rushing touchdown and he gets on the mic. He goes, it's going to be a long fucking game. And I was like, oh, God, God, I wish I was here. I was here. like, yeah, it is. You know what oh. I mean? So I just sat there. And then I drove the ball, like, you know, I drove down and I used McCaffrey. I think I got a long run. And then he's on his drive and he throws it, intercepts it. And then I just, like, hit the mute, th- like, hit the mic and I just yawned after I intercepted it. Then I turned my <laughs> mic off. <laughs> and then I went down, scored. And then he gets the ball and then he does the same thing, throws another interception. And then, I, of course, I just click on and go, bitch, and then click off. And then he just quit. quit. I was like, this um, is perfect. Man. But it was going to be a long fucking game. And I was like, dude, why? Why? All you did was your job. You scored on the first drive with the ball. All you did was your job. You know, you, you know don't what? just talk shit when you do your job. I can't wait till the next day that you have off work on like a weekday. And so like during the day, you'll be playing Madden. I'll be in my bedroom. And then you're going to be like, we got one. And I'm just going to throw my work laptop right out the window. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't work there anymore. Dude, pitch it. That's not yeah. your universe anymore. <laughs> and I just have to be like, I, was, I just have to call my boss and be like, hey, yeah, something happened to my laptop. Can you, that'd be sweet if you could dual screen so you could have a screen in there on the PlayStation and then just like have the headphones plugged into the PlayStation oh, I'm sure on the way. corner. Yeah. And then you could just sit there and then like when it, when it's going, you don't even have to, you just start the it, beginning of the game. You just start talking. I already know how we do it. So you get an HDMI splitter. Mm-hmm. And so it like doubles the output, okay. and then one of them just goes into my computer monitor, and I just change it so that it's the TV one. That's insane. Yeah, and I just plug in some headphones. Yeah, just talking, just talking. Dude, uh, I love the idea. Also, uh, so real one more thing about the yeah. show at Hilarious that Hilarious. I forgot yep. to tell you. Mm-hmm. Did you see this sweater? I kind of did when you sat down to do the podcast. It says "Night Moves." Yeah, which is a Bob Seger song, right? Yep. And this says "Silver Bullet Band." Didn't realize this was a dildo. Hmm. This is a vibrator. There's a button. Flint pointed it out. I thought that this was just... I thought it was a silver a, bullet. So did I. But that's a brand of... Dildo. Sex toy. Sex toy. Yeah. So, luckily I didn't wear it at the you early... You can't do that. I didn't wear it at the early show, but on the late show I wore this on stage. <laughs> just had... Just was like, yeah, I'm a big Bob Seger fan. <laughs> you just had a vibrator on your shirt? <laughs> and then like, yeah. well, like three people were like, hey man... You all right? Why are you wearing a? And I and I was like, dude, I thought it was just, I thought I was seagering out. <laughs> and you had no idea. No idea. Wow, dude, I, I wouldn't know like right off the bat because like you don't look. Yeah. It's, it blends in the black like knob on the back. Mm-hmm. Wow. But what bullets that long? Besides the silver bullet. Oh God. Yeah. That's so cool. I uh, I had no idea. I was gonna wear it at the early show. Yeah, and the only reason I didn't is because I wanted to do that new joke about cocaine, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to do that was the one thing I was afraid to do in front of my dad, so I didn't do it. And instead, mm-hmm. I did the tattoo joke, and I needed okay. I can't be wearing long sleeves for that. Okay, so I tabled it. But like, yeah, dude, if I was less of a coward, I would have just not only talked about cocaine in front of my parents, but worn a dildo on stage. I mean, I <laughs> I sincerely wish you would have worn the dildo shirt oh. on your dad. I mean, it's going on like a 40-minute episode now of a podcast. Are we going to get like banned for that shirt? No. I literally got it advertised to me on a, on a uh, what's that called? Instagram ad. Mm. So if, it, it'll play. I got advertised to me because I was going to Florida. This is the same brand that the dog shirt's from. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. They offered me, uh, what was it? Uh, swim trunks that were look, looked like a pack of Newports. And I was like, you <laughs> nailed it. It had like Newport across the front, like right across the junk. And I was like, that's Ooh. beautiful. That's a beautiful set just of really, Just establish dominance with your oh, girl's family. Just, yep. Yeah. Up, walk, jump into the pool with that. Yeah. In front. Oh my God, dude, that would have ripped. You yeah. put a Newport in your mouth, Newport mm-hmm. trunks, light the cigarette, you jump in the pool when you come out. It's still lit. Mm-hmm. They're like, how did you do that? Sure. And you go, mind your They're fucking wrong. business. Dude, you come up through the water. Oh, yeah. You like jump in and hold it up. Yep. And your arm. Your... And as you come up through the water. You... Just, the, just the tip of your fingertips. Mm-hmm. Don't go under. Dude. Yeah, dude. How cool would that be to have a, 
a scuba mask. Oh, people do that. A scuba mask. But, like, with a cigarette on top of it instead of oxygen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it might blow up. <laughs> Maybe not like For, a scuba mask, but like what's me, the snorkel? Oh, oh, a snorkel. So you just cigarette. like put yeah. like a cigarette in like your snorkel, and you're just like fucking swimming through the ocean, just ripping heaters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you need like a valve system so that there's just air at some point. No, it's just all heater. Well, yeah, once you're out, yeah, like you come up, put one in, light your heater. <laughs> <laughs> just start looking at the fish. Like, Does that guy look yellow to you? <laughs> I do it. His face weird. Oh, that would be awesome. I don't know about that. <laughs> Been heaters through your snorkel, dude. Heat and beaten under oh. the, under the sea. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet the potheads do that with weed. Really? Yeah. I mean, they do the gas mask. I've done it. Uh, You've worn a gas mask. Well, I used to own one. Whoa. Someone came over. We used to have a gas mask. And it was like curved, and someone came over and stepped on it and broke like half of it off. So we just had like this little part here. So we taped it off, and then we bought like a steamroller that fit inside of it. So then you could put a steamroller on the end. So then we had like a steamroller gas mask going. What? Yeah, I've been high, brother. Dude, I, I've been. I don't... You know what's great? I've been. I was thinking about it when I was sober last week. I was like, I've been real high before. It's crazy how like actually high you could get. I don't. You know what's one story that I always remember from you that's like legitimately terrifying? Hmm. Is there was the one time we were at LVT, and uh, you were like, you were like, I was like, hey, are you doing all right? And you're like, yeah, I've been drinking this, I've been drinking this weed <laughs> soda. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, like, what is it? And you're like, it's fifty milligrams. And I was like, oh, that's. This doesn't seem like a lot for you. And then I, I, I'm like, let me look at it. And I take the can and I look at it and I'm like, yo, this says 500. Yeah. <laughs> I was ripped, dude. That was a and bad you, time. It was like a <laughs> sip left. And I was like, hey, maybe don't finish this. And you're like, I got to finish it. <laughs> and then like, you were fine. I think the only thing was you just, I gave you a ride home. You don't want to drive. That was the only thing though. Yeah. yeah. But no, there was, that was that the night or there was a gummy night or a incident where, like, I think, like, Strank was there, at Mike Strank was there at the uh, LVT, and I was, like, I, I, like, told him, I was, like, dude, I'm too high to go on stage, and then, like, they that was called, a gummy. Yeah. And that then was they, multiple gummies, they, Yeah, and then they called my name, and I was, like, whoop, <laughs> went up there, <laughs> like, I, like, stood up there in, like, shock that I had to, like, go yeah. up, and I was, like, terrified. Yeah, I got off, it was, like, a really bad set. I was yeah. just, like. Wow. Like, everybody's so mad right now. <laughs> Your timing was, like. I was there for that one too. I didn't know. I didn't know you said that to Mike. Yeah, but your timing was just like. And then after every joke, you kept just being like, and then you would just do the next. Joke. Yeah, dude. I've been. <laughs> like, I, I think everyone was like, "Is is he? What's happening?" I just feel like there's part of me like when I get like really high, I feel like it feels so good that I just like, I just am gone. I just want to be gone. I don't like it. I love it. I don't like it. I go to like the, the spirit realm. The last time I got high was the night where I did it alone, and then I got sad and started crying, so I just started watching Cool Runnings, and then you came home, and I just was at first like, don't look at me. Mm-hmm. I was like, you you got high and gave up all your weed? <laughs> I did. I was like crying, and I was like, don't look at me. And then I think I think I remember making you take it from me. Yeah, you gave me your weed, and I was like, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty ripped up right now, dude. And yeah, I just like put it in my room. I, didn't I said it. I wasn't gonna, and then I still did. I uh, I have had zero interest since. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was real bad. Yeah, it was straight up bad not, time. Not 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 straight not up not too a, fun. Straight up not a fun time for the little boy. <laughs> I don't know what that was, and I'd like to apologize. I get it. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think I'm done with like cannabinoids. Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. No. Oh. No, I drank a lot while I was down down there. So. Dude, you drunk texted me, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, I was drinking, dude. Only one, but um, still, I was like, if I was drunk, you would have got a way more than one. So, wait. So, hilarities? Yeah. We went through. You hung out. Sorry, I'm just trying to like catch up. Saw my family. Saw strength. Saw everybody. Saw everybody. Came home. Came home. 
And then you drove me to the airport. Drove you to the airport the next day. Was it the same day or next day? Did I go to bed and then... You came home. We had like 18 hours together, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We were going to do an episode and then I was like, I have to be up at four. Yeah. And... Oh, so we didn't even have... We, we had like 10 hours together because yeah. I got home and you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was it. And then I went to Florida... Florida, Florida, dude. Girlfriend and her family. Shout out. It was an awesome one. Thank you. Shout out to the F- Florida Sun. Yep. Florida Keys. So I went on a fishing boat. I yeah, he's wearing the shirt right now. That's right. Shirt. Yeah, he's not just tapping his. Uh, pecs. Also, hold on. Look at that tan compared to our wall. If you look at previous episodes, I've held my arm up here before. And if you're just a casual listener who's not watching the video, it's a little tan. <laughs> I'm a little tan right now. A little now. tan. So it was really cool. Uh, went to Florida. I got whiter and you didn't even notice. I know. I'm so sorry. You fucking... I didn't notice because I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> and yet? Here we are. I didn't even go outside. That's true. I just feel like I'm talking to a wall. <gasps> when I was in Cleveland, I stayed inside. Really? It was snowed it cold? a bunch. Yeah. It snowed a bunch. It snowed here while you were gone. That's what sucked. It was like we literally got like a bunch of snow, and I was like, "Of course, yeah, not in two years." And I've been here for like every time it snows. It's so weird. I wanted to see New York City, and I was like bummed I missed it. And then I came back, and my windows had mold all over them. The roof was sweet. Yeah, with I'm a bunch sure of snow it was. on it. Yeah. Like you get up there before everybody else. It was gorgeous. And then like you look out, and everything's like got so much snow on it. It was really pretty. Damn. Yeah, I don't think I took a bunch of pictures, but I probably should have. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. New York in the snow. New York in the snow. New York City. It's almost daylight savings time too. I looked at. I up. thought that I was done. Like, no, I think it's like March tenth. I keep I think fucking it's back, though. I know. I mean, it's going back, so we're gonna get more sun. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. It's getting to summer hours. We're springing forward. Spring, spring ahead. Forward. Fall back. Fall back. So we're gonna get that, dude. That's gonna be sick. Fall back, troops. Yeah. yeah. You were troops. Yeah. So anyway, fishing boat. Fishing boat. Went on a fishing boat. It was sweet. Wait, Caught about. two mahi mahi. Oh yeah, dude. I've I've seen the video of him catching these. It's pretty sick, actually. Yeah, dude. You have to use like your whole forearm, dude. I was like so strong. But so the cool thing was, I caught two fish with like my girlfriend and her dad <laughs> and her grandfather and like her family, and then they took those fish and they like cut them up and filleted them on the boat. But, uh no, you do it off the boat. Oh, okay, like okay. once we got to shore, okay. they like you stay on the boat and like chill and like we had like another beer or two, and uh, so then he went in there with the captain, sliced up the fish or whatever, and then they had like a bunch of fillets, and then he ate them later that raw? night. Oh, he ate them. I thought he just sucking down raw mahi mahi. No, they like, ate them. Fuck yeah, dude. They ate them in the uh, air fryer. I oh, actually heard it was really good. I had burgers in the air fryer here, not here, oh. but uh, down in Florida. Good, amazing. Okay, now Cooked we know. perfectly. You put them in tinfoil? Uh, they put a thing in the bottom to make sure grease doesn't get everywhere, and that was about it. Okay. They put, like, some wax or parchment paper, but it cooks them beautifully. Beautifully cooked burgers. I mean, it's just like a mini oven. That's all the air fryer is. It's insane. Yeah. It's fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, so, I catch the fish. Yep. They cut them up. Yep. Her dad ate the fish. Yeah. I felt like a fucking... Man, hunter. I tried to explain it to you yesterday, but I still feel like it's a good feeling. Like I killed something that like my girlfriend's father consumed to like make him stronger. So like, this is such how... a, you're, you're a fucking weird dude, and I love it. <laughs> Do you? Are, I didn't know if you were like disagreeing that that's not how it works. No, it's cool, but it is just funny that you're like, I made her father stronger. <laughs> I gave her father like an adequate amount of protein for the day. And he's, like, stronger because, and, like, that makes, like, our bond stronger. Like, you can't, if I ever ask him if I can marry his daughter, how are you going to say no? You know how, Remember you that said, time you know I, what? Say yes, it's a longer word, but you also are stronger dude, because <laughs> I made you stronger. You're just like, can I marry your daughter? Remember the time you saw me hunt for you. I that's who you are. You. I killed for you. I will, I'll do it again. I will. I don't know why that's your. I'm impersonating you like that. I will kill for you. Dude, I would. It's how a hunter sounds, right? I I will yeah. kill. Is that a hunter? But in fairness, I will kill. I've eaten his deer jerky. Yeah. Yeah. He's killed a. You said deer. it was salty. 
That's all right. You saw me eat the whole bag, though. Yeah, I saw you. You're going to eat. Also, there was a bunch of cheese. If there's snacks, you're going to. I'm going to snack. Yep. I'm going to snack, bro. Yep. I keep my metabolism going. Yeah, dude. So we caught the fish. I felt like a man. I don't know if that's weird or not. I just want to keep diving into the... That's so funny. The I made him stronger. Yeah. And Think now... About, Think about if this was like hundreds of years well, that's ago. Well, that's what's cracking me up is you're like, I give you fish. You give me daughter. Damn. <laughs> There's only two fish, too. <laughs> it's like the worst dowry ever. It's like one fifth. It's like one tenth. This is nothing. Yeah. That is not the right amount of food for a person. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I should. What if I killed him like a, like, what if I butchered him a cow and sent him like the cow meat? I mean, I don't, I don't, I've never given someone a dowry. What if I made him a beef stew? I froze it, mailed it to him. I'd like beef stew. But it's like a beef yeah. from like a. From a person. Yeah. People beef. People beef. <laughs> Your father liked that hamburger I sent him. <laughs> yeah, he wants yeah, and more. Then, and then it's just it just becomes if you don't let me marry your daughter, then I'll tell everyone you're a cannibal. You've been eating people meat, and here's a picture of you helping me with the bodies. Wait, how's that gonna play out? AI. Oh always from now on. Everything's what are you gonna AI. Isn't it doesn't AI always make the hands look weird? For now. But it's gonna learn. Right now, I feel like there's AI out there that, that doesn't do that. And, like, they have, like, the better mm. AI. Like, the people who want it have it. I feel like the little, like, Google, Gemini, the, all those ones that they let us play around with yeah. are, like, really restricted and stuff. Yeah. I feel like they got they an should AI. Be. that Yeah. But I feel like they got an AI that does AI right. Look, I don't know how any of the internet works. Mm-hmm. Me either. But I think we should just take all of the AI, mm-hmm. throw it in a fire. Throw it in a fire. And then just start over it's crazy we're more willing to like burn books in this country than like burn ai that's obviously going to destroy us yeah it's very obvious it's gonna wipe us out we deserve it we're we're afraid of what our kids are like learning in schools Mm -hmm. you know what every kid should be watching the -hmm. only thing that should be on every parent's mind is terminator 2 judgment day yep that's what we should be showing every youth because it's the future what do you think the last job will be the last what's the last when AI takes over, it's going to start taking job after job. Like, it's going to take an artist's job easy. Yeah. It's going to take job after job. What happens? I think, so, are we saying if AI turns out to be a good thing and doesn't kill us, what's the last job? Yeah. Good thing, doesn't kill us. Like, what's the last thing that, like, someone's going to be, like, the last job where it's, like, unemployment right now is at 99.99%, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because I always feel like everyone, it, it should be 100%. But... That last job, like, what's that last group or, like, that last guy that, like, clocks out? And then they're like, you don't have to show up Monday. And he's like, I was the last job. And it's it's probably going to be, like, some type of, like, uh, like, what is it? Like, morality monitor for the AI. You know what I mean? They fire him last year. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be. They're gonna be like. Actually, we can handle our own rights and yeah. wrongs. That's or it's a good one. it's just like the. It's either that or like the Greek guy that owns the diner. I like where he's like. He's like, I don't want some robot making my food. <laughs> I've owned this diner for fifty years. I make my own burgers. It's gonna be some stubborn diner guy. Yeah. Yep. And he'll not understand why he doesn't have customers. And it's because everyone can... It's not going to be a job that's needed. It's just going to be someone stubborn Mm -hmm. that's self-employed. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like you can have like your phone cut your hair, but it'll be like a hairdresser. I just like to talk. She just wants to talk. Yep. She just wants to tell her story. But at that point, AI will be able to talk. They'll be like, how's your day? And they'll be like, it is good. Is your day going bad? You think AI would ever like generate customers? Just start being like a like a make a robot that uh, the hair grows, so like someone could cut hair and then like grows back out, and then they could just like keep talking. Yeah. And then we, the, instead of making jobs, just make customers. Get Joe Biden on the phone. <laughs> Why did we just stumble upon? Did we just fix America? 
Yeah, dude. Like, we need to put more money into the economy. I need to put more money into my fucking mouth because daddy wants a snack. We need to make places busier. I want a food item in me. Because uh, one thing I know is if, like, your local Wendy's gets busier, it definitely impacts all the employees that work there the most, you know? They definitely dude, benefit the most. Do we have time to talk busy. about the Wendy's thing? Six s- minutes, yeah, we got time. What the what fuck Wendy's is going thing? on with it? Have you haven't seen it? <laughs> no. I genuinely, I'm not messing with you. I'm not gaslighting. No, I've been on vacation. <laughs> oh, you took a, a break on the mental phone? Mental break, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mental phone break. I had like a bunch of, yeah. So Wendy's is doing this new thing where they're spending millions of dollars to introduce this new, like, it's using AI and they're introducing like this electronic menu. Oh, a way to feed people? No. Worse. Cool. A way to make money. <laughs> When you said spend millions of dollars, I figured they were going to make hundreds yeah. of millions. Okay, but why? So they're it's basically taking Uber's model, and they're, there's going to be, like, surge pricing at Wendy's. So, like, if you go to Wendy's at, like, 5.30 at, during rush hour when everybody's getting a quick bite, your burger's going to cost four bucks instead of two bucks. Oh, they're not giving you a free surge soda? No. With your purchase? But I, so what's surge pricing? You so like it's like it's like when you try and order an Uber when it's when you're like the Cavs game lets out and everyone's mm-hmm. trying to order an Uber so it costs you seventy dollars instead of twenty. So is there like a baseline of how much? Like so, does the burger start at a certain price or like if that's I go what I th- there at two in the morning when they're slow? Is it going to be like a nickel? That's what I'm saying. So your dad again? If it's that during the another no, episode, that would be incredible. That would have been really good, though. Yeah. Um, No, so what's going to happen, I think, is that, like, the base price is going to stay the same, and then if they're busy, it's only going to go up. That's what I'd imagine, because otherwise, how does the money work? So why are they doing that? Because capitalism makes no sense, and... (sighs) Nobody, no company is trying to... Even though every company is technically a person, they don't want to help people. Dude, I heard about the embryo thing, by the way, the IVF oh, shit going wild. on. So how crazy is it that like an embryo, uh, a frozen embryo is a child and companies are people within my lifetime? Yeah. And girls are boys. Yeah, no, it's I'm crazy. I'm sorry. No, it's gr- no, boys I'm are sure. girls, girls are boys. <laughs> but yeah, that part, I didn't want to like uh, make anyone think I was taking a side or anything uh-huh. silly. But the businesses are people. You can do whatever the fuck you want. That's the way I look at the world. Exactly. Businesses are people, and they can do whatever they want. So, if I go there... So, it's only at Wendy's, or is this a fast food thing? I think it's only at Wendy's. It's only at Wendy's. Taco Bell had losses for the first time in a long time. Like, they had a bad quarter. They took away their $5 cravings box like, they took away it. in like a bunch of select places, and they were like, oh, that's weird. It's like all the places around here. Oh. Can't. So when I was home, mm-hmm. I got Taco Bell for the first time in a while because they have a lot of like meatless options. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you're a meatless boy now? Yeah, I, did. I fucking hate that I just said it on the podcast. I kind of – but uh, I got a sure. bunch of Taco Bell at like 3 in the morning the one night. I didn't drink. I, I like drove myself home just wanted tea bell Dude, just a – things with cheese in it Th- cheese beans rice like all of it you th- th- cheesy potatoes they've got good shit and so i do like a cheese quesadilla to a burrito like a bean taco thing and then uh wake up go to bed at like three thirty. wake up at legitimately eight in the morning just throw it up really so much all of it like violently hmm. Hmm. so I think my body just can't eat Taco Bell at three in the morning anymore. <laughs> it's really you really start finding out who you are after thirty. Yep. And what your capabilities are. You realize maybe it's not just kryptonite that harms me. I'm one past and it's <laughs> boy did it dent it put a dent in the boy. Yeah. Yikes, dude. I haven't had Taco Bell. I really wanted to get it when we were down there. Yeah. Because I figured it was gonna be like really cheap. But we went to a taco stand that was amazing. Uh, they had literally like on the menu, it was El, like tacos was and everything. El Taco? No, I'll have to look the place up. But El it's Taco said, Brothers? It, I think it was like one of those like Taquerios, El, El Taquerios or something like that. And Restaurant? I think it's just Taqueria just means restaurant actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like all, all Spanish and then it says American tacos, chicken or beef. <laughs> and I was like, can I have four American tacos? And you know, my girlfriend sweetheart orders like 
stuff off their actual menu, and I'm just like a Neanderthal. Does she speak Spanish? No, but uh, she like try. She wants to like eat like yeah. random stuff that's random ingredients and doesn't care like how it tastes. It's gonna be like good because it's an experience, and you know what I mean. That's I get that life. And I was like, give me four of them American tacos. I was <laughs> like, two chicken, two beef. It's a taco. Yeah, it's a taco stand, and you're just like hot dog. Yep. <laughs> That's Senor, do you thing. have hot dog? Yeah, they had, like all their like uh like the Mexican sodas, and I literally got a Dr Pepper, and I was like, "What am I?" And Dude. then I you got didn't get burritos. No, got two tacos <sighs> in, and then I was like, I went to ask for the key for the bathroom, so I got the key, went in the bathroom. There's no toilet paper, Bro, so that's... I had to come back out to the taco stand, and there's a line, and I'd like stand in the front, and be like, "There's no toilet paper in the bathroom." Senor, so, El Baño. They... They gave me the toilet paper, and so in front of everyone, I have to like walk away with the toilet paper in my hand, and then come out ten minutes later and like hand lay the keys, and then sit down and finish my other two tacos that I just made room for. I would have, like, you know, what I would have done? I would have wiped myself with the keys. I should have got. I would have wiped my butt with the key. I should have got on a plane and went home. No, like, you should have scooped the shit out of your ass with that key. Damn, maybe. All That's right. the only way to establish that. Thanks for listening. Sorry. No, that oh, was is that how it's ending? Yeah, we have to. <laughs> I'm out of time. You're out of time. We got to oh. record like eight more episodes. We got eight more episodes. If you had fun, tell your friends, tell your family. It's Death Trap, baby. Yeah, like and subscribe. Whatever you want to do. Just the, tell people about it. The Death Trap Podcast.com. Comment that you had fun. Check out El Banjo. Bye. Shibbity boop 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 doop. Ba da ba ba ba. The Death Trap. The Death Trap. Trap.